Yeah, I'm a Hoonigans fan. How did I miss this? Uh, this is the Tough Fan 12 by Thermal Take, and well, it looks familiar, doesn't it? Now, honestly, the only reason I actually remembered this fan is because I was browsing through Twitter one day and I saw a tweet from Jacob uh, at Noctua, and he made a mention of Noctua exploring legal actions when it came to, you know, this guy right here. Ooh, they mad. Now, why is that, you might ask? Well, let's try to understand where all this came from and maybe try to figure out why Noctua might be a little upset about this guy. Now the A12 X25 came out, I think around 2018, and supposedly it took Noctua four years to develop this fan. The big thing this fan offered more than anything else was uh, its extremely small blade to frame gap, which is about, they claim, 0.5 millimeters. Now they were able to do this because they were using this new material uh, to make the blades called Sturox, I believe, and it's a liquid crystal liquid crystal polymer. Now all these, all these claims are justified. The blade gap is pretty small, the fan performs very well, it's very quiet, and everybody loves it. The only complaint being that, well, it's, 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 it's brown and beige. It's always the Noctua, it's always their, their Achilles heel. Now the A12X25 currently is still only offered in this brown and beige color scheme. And they have talked for a long time that they're going to come out with a Chromax edition, which is going to be basically a black one. But, um, we haven't seen it. If I had all the money Noctua has lost because of their color scheme, I would just throw away my money because it'd be really super rich. But yeah, ever since this guy came out, the A12X25, people have wanted a black one. And supposedly, according to Noctua, the adding black dye to the mix just isn't really that easy. And that's why we haven't seen one. Well, Thermal Take, they, they disagree. Now, like I said, this is the Thermal Take Tough Fan 12, and it's basically a black A12 X25. But is it as good as the original? I don't know, but we're gonna, we're, we're, gonna, we're fixing to find out today because if it is, then I don't see a reason why anybody would buy the beige and brown one if, unless they're just big fans of that color scheme or they're crazy. Now, first, right, off the, right out of the gate, let's just talk about the price. I bought two of these Tough Fan 12 um, fans in a two-pack for $39.99, which means I paid about 20 bucks each for them. The A12 X25 will run you about $32.90 for one of these four-pin to four pin PWMs. Now, the five-volt or the three-pin is a little, little cheaper, but still, this fan does cost more than this fan. So, if our first metric is going to be price, then, yeah, the Thermal Take fan does seem to be, like, the better value as of now. We don't really know how they perform head-to-head, -head, but... Given how it's cheaper, and personally, I think it looks a little better being black. Now, when it comes to the blade gap, uh, I don't have a feeler gauge. I kind of wish it did. Should have brought one home from work, but I don't have one, and they look pretty close. Maybe the Noctua is just a hair closer, but it looks, to my calibrated eyeball, they look pretty close. And supposedly, they're both made with the same material, that uh, LCD or liquid crystal pulp, LCD, LCP. Liquid crystal, liquid crystal polymer. They're both supposed to be made of that. Now, when it comes to the sound tests, they pretty much, to me, sound pretty much the same. I mean, they both came in about the same exact dB level. Uh, Pitch-wise, they don't seem too much, too different. I mean, kind of, kind of seems like a wash on this one. Setting both these fans up for the smoke test, and uh, again, not really noticing much of a difference between the two. They both, they both seem to pull the fog in pretty well. Uh, they keep the flow out the back of the fan pretty tight. All in all, looking pretty similar. Pretty good performance. Now the A12X25 does show a slight static pressure advantage when at least it comes to the spec sheets of these two fans, and it seems like that's translated into this test. So basically this test is kind of trying to see the static pressure of each fan by hanging, in this case, a business card behind the fan and seeing how far it can push that business card up. And it looks like the A12X25 does do slightly better here. So how did our cooling test go? Surprisingly pretty close. Uh, I tested both of these on the 7700K using the U12A, the air cooler that this fan actually comes equipped on. And for the most part, they pretty much finished the same. 
The A12X25 came in with an average temperature of 76.5 at a room temperature of 19.8, giving us a delta of 56.7. The Tough Fan 12 came in with an average temperature of 76.8 at a room temperature of 19.6, giving us a delta of 57.2. So you can maybe say the A12X25 squeaked out a victory, but um, I think we can all pretty much agree that's margin of error. And for the most part, they cooled exactly the same. So to me, I don't know why, I don't, unless you really liked the brown and beige color scheme, I don't know why you would pick the A12X25 anymore, and I can understand why, why Noctua was a little upset about this whole situation. But for me, I mean, this one's cheaper. It has an easier, easier color scheme to match. The black looks good. Uh, probably would take this one. But what I really want to know is, can we remove this fan disc like we can, or have been, you know, for things like the Fan Showdown, to make our own fan? And it looks like on the surface we can do that, but... I think we need to find out. So I'm gonna get my Dremel. We're gonna to try to cut these blades off, see if we can get to a hub, and maybe we'll have a new fan to use in future episodes of the Fan Showdown. And I say that because there's also a version of this called the Tough Fan 12 Turbo that actually spins at 2,500 RPMs rather than the 2,000 that this spins at. So that could be uh, the next fan we use for the Fan Showdown. Give us a little more oomph for you guys' design. So let me grab my Dremel and see what's inside of this bad boy. Short answer is yes. You can cut the fan off just the same as you can on the A12X25 to make your own custom fan, you know, something like the old TikTok fan here. But I will say that, you know, from somebody that's cut up a lot of A12X25s in their day, it is definitely not as easy to chop the Thermaltake Tough Fan 12 up as much. The material type is supposedly the same, same type of stuff, but uh, this one definitely felt a bit more plasticky. It was, it was a bit gummy. It kind of wanted to stick together a lot more than this. This stuff, when you kind of get it, get it going, it just breaks apart. And I will say also is that after, after getting the fan out of there, the hub isn't really holding up that great. Now I did kind of mangle it, and I'm sure if I did it again, I would be a little, a little better next time, but never had any issue with those taking them apart. Now keep in mind that this is not gonna really affect anybody that's just looking to buy a good fan for their next PC build. Uh, if you are, it's hard not to choose the Tough Fan 12 from Thermal Take. It's essentially an A12X25, but it's the Chrome X1 we've all been waiting for and never got. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you don't want to spend as much money and you want a black fan, the Thermal Take is just as good as the A12X25. Who'd have thought? Till next time.